So what does a revolution in high performance computing have to do with a revolution in high performance aircraft? What does cloud computing have to do with how we fly through actual clouds? And why now is a software engineer building the next commercial aircraft company? Air travel is integral to our modern lives, yet aviation is a domain starving for step change innovation. The last big new thing was the jet airliner, invented more than six decades ago. Tokyo to Seattle has been a nine-hour flight for going on 60 years. At Boom, we are guided by one fundamental mission, to make the world dramatically more accessible. And by the end of the decade, millions of everyday travelers will enjoy the benefits of supersonic flight aboard Overture, an airliner twice as fast as any flying today. That means that Tokyo will be just four and a half hours from Seattle, and London just three and a half from New York. Speed unlocks new possibilities for human relationships and business connections. That's why major aerospace players such as Rolls-Royce, Japan Airlines, and the United States Air Force are among Boom's partners. All of this is possible thanks to advances in computing that enable a startup company to spark a revolution in speed. 20 years ago, I hit two life milestones as a new graduate. I started my first job here at Amazon as a software engineer, and I started taking flying lessons just a few miles down the street at Boeing Field. Around the same time, Amazon was building the fundamental web services that would later become AWS, charting a new future of computing across all industries. Little did I know that these things would intersect so powerfully in my future. I never could have predicted that the innovations in cloud computing happening at Amazon and AWS would fundamentally change how we all fly. Well, fast forward to today, and Boom is designing and building the world's fastest and most sustainable airliner. And we've just announced that we're going all in with AWS. Why? Well, it turns out that high-performance computing is key to this new era of airplane design. And AWS is the leading cloud provider, allowing us to leverage a wide range of capabilities and services. Plus, Amazon's relentless focus on the customer means that some of the best minds in cloud computing are helping boom, innovate, and get to market faster. AWS levels the playing field in aerospace allowing a startup company to develop what previously only big companies or governments could do. So this is how airplanes were designed before the age of computing. Engineers worked with drafting paper and slide rules. They built scale models to test in wind tunnels, leading to a process of iteration that was slow and costly. Today, to design faster airplanes, we need the fastest computers. And computational methods leveraging AWS save us literally years of schedule and millions of dollars. Moreover, because we can now test many designs quickly and inexpensively, we can deliver a better airplane. In October, we rolled out XB-1, history's first independently developed supersonic jet. And to design XB-1, we leveraged EC2 to stand up HPC clusters often with more than 500 cores. Hundreds of possible airplane designs flew through virtual wind tunnel tests, encompassing thousands of flight scenarios. Because AWS allowed us to run many hundreds of these simulations concurrently, we achieved a six-fold increase in team productivity. Simply put, without AWS, today we would be looking at a sketch of a future airplane concept, not an assembled jet because years of design work would still remain. Since airplanes are amongst the most complex machines ever created by humanity, Boom will generate petabytes of data as we design and develop our Overture airliner. Already, we are transferring 525 terabytes of XB1 design and test data to AWS. Because AWS lets us put compute next to data, we can run models across our data set, gaining actionable insights. For example, we're using machine learning to calibrate simulations 
to wind tunnel results, accelerating model convergence, and allowing us to deliver a more optimized aircraft. All in all, we've used 53 million core hours in AWS to design and test XB1. And in the same manner, we expect to use over 100 million core hours as we finalize the design of our Overture airliner. Because our pursuit of speed is about making Earth more accessible, we're taking great care to build an environmentally and socially responsible supersonic jet. And I am proud that Overture will be 100% carbon neutral from day one, thanks to its use of alternative fuels, which means that supersonic flight is going to be more affordable than ever before. Well, great revolutions and fundamental technologies enable benefits that are difficult to predict or even imagine. Think of how many industries AWS has already transformed. And today, supersonic flight is one of those surprising benefits of computing. Just as AWS is reinventing computing, at Boom, we're reinventing travel. So what further breakthroughs will be sparked by a revolution in how we fly? At Boom, our vision is one of accessibility, of new possibilities unlocked in the world around us. By the end of the decade, your flights will be cut in half. So what will you do when Australia is as accessible as Hawaii is today, and your flight is completely carbon neutral? How might you transform an industry? What new people could you come to call friends? But Overture is merely the first step towards our vision of a supersonic future. Because I dream of a day where you can go anywhere in the world in four hours for just $100, where the fastest flight is also the most affordable. Boom is making supersonic flight mainstream, and AWS is helping us deliver on that promise. I am so excited to see what you will invent when more of the world is within your reach. Thank you.